Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel where today we are back in the kitchen. The Easter look is gone, but I still want it to feel like spring in here. I'm not quite ready for a summer look, which will mean adding in shades of blue. So I want to bring in a different color and that is going to be yellow. To me, yellow is just fresh and happy, and that's exactly the look I'm going for. I also think it's gonna look really pretty paired with the Green Island and doors that I recently painted. So if this is something that interests you, I hope you'll stick around and join me. I also hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. All right, let's get started. As always, it helps me to start with a clean blank slate. Starting here on the island, first thing I did was to slide a white tray to the center and then layered a green and white dish towel. I went with the green and white because I knew I'd be bringing the yellow in with the lemons. So this is an arrangement I had out for spring, but I just added in a few lemon branches I had on hand and then continued with more lemons in a bowl under the cloche and then a couple more right here for my favorite diagonal pattern. shelves you can see not a whole lot going on just white glass and just a little bit of greenery so starting with that greenery I added in some lemon stems that I had on hand just to give it that little accent of color now instead of doing another one here what I did to tie these two together since I have picture picture is I used the same stand up there that I did down here and then coming down here the dishcloth that I have, this is actually, it was a lot larger, but I cut it in half so I'd have one for the other peg rack on the opposite side of the room. But it ties in diagonally with the greenery up there. So see how my crazy mind works. Truth be told, I am not a big baker or chef, so the flour and sugar will not be used, but I still like having canisters on our countertop full of them. But instead of adding scoops in there, I like to add coffee cups. I think it's a great way to add color and interest. I did end up taking the smaller yellow coffee mug out and put this one in instead. It's a little large for this canister, but it matches that one, and I do think it looks a little bit better. Thank you. 
I really like the yellow and white ribbon. I think it's a fun addition, perfect little pop of color back there. And don't worry, if I am using the back two burners, I promise you I remove the wreath so it doesn't become a fire hazard. So let's chat about the tablescape. I started off by adding this little cloth down in the middle. I didn't want to do a table runner this time because I've had one there for a long time. Started with the fabric and then added a soup tureen. I love using those as a centerpiece. Layered in a fern and faux yellow flowers. 
and then flanked it with candles. Right, so the place setting started with a woven charger, then layered a white charger, napkin, white plate, and aren't those so fun? Would you believe I found those at Goodwill a couple of months ago? I think I paid $3 for six of them. And a quick little tip while we're here, if I only have four of a certain kind, for example, the plates, I only had four, I'm using the other two in a different room. What I will do is use the four in the middle, but then at the head and the foot, I use a different plate. So see, this one has the little beads on it. So then what I did to tie it all together is, see how I have the plain napkins here? But then these napkins for the four in the middle have the beaded detail. That way it connects or ties the napkin to the plate that are at the head and the foot. I know it's crazy, but that's just how my OCD mind thinks. Well, friends, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I really appreciate your company. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.